Leave it to me to accidentally press a button and fucking like lose my recording for like 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> fun. Um, but basically the gist of it is that I don't like midterms. <laughs> and I also hate people, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was just basically ranting about how like midterms fucking suck. And I got like a 68 on my history midterm, which is not great. And I also got a 75.9 on my... English midterm but I'm not even completed with my English midterm because like I have a second half of my midterm that I have to do which is like a compare and contrast essay which I haven't done yet and then I also have another midterm that I have to do that I was absent for on Thursday that is my social psych midterm which is actually just a chapter test because like he doesn't really do midterms I don't know why but I'm actually really grateful for that anyways but like they're both on Tuesday because we don't have school on Monday and because they're on Tuesday like it's kind of stressful and then also like Tuesday is when our grades are due like final final grades so I'm going to be taking two midterms late on the day that grades are due Yeah, like, totally fine. Like, just... <laughs> Why? I should have, like... I could have rescheduled my doctor's appointments. I just, like, didn't really want to go through the hassle because I'm lazy. And this is the consequence. But also, another reason that I didn't want to do that was because it's really fucking hard to reschedule an appointment with your psychiatrist. Like, they're almost constantly booked and busy and, like... So, like, I really needed to go to the doctor's appointment, but, like, also made me miss midterms, which means I have, I'm retaking them or, like, doing them, but, like, also doing them the day that grades are due is not the greatest, like thing to be doing like at all <laughs> why and then on top of that like 68 and 75.9 are not the greatest grades not to mention I had a chapter test in history that I missed like last week and is because of a doctor's appointment again <laughs> keep missing days for doctor's appointments but like you can't really help it she always schedules them in the morning and like she can't schedule them in the afternoon I don't know why but she can't so I'm always missing school and like just um so I missed the chapter test and but then he said that I could take the midterm and he would take a percentage for my midterm for the chapter test which I initially was really grateful for, but now not so much because that means I have a test and a midterm that are both kind of flunky because they're both the same fucking grade. And just, oh, I want to die. I'm kidding. But like, also, not really. <laughs> Why? <laughs> mm, that's annoying. So yeah, that's, that's my life right now, like, love it so much, like, good god, I'm gonna, ugh, ugh, fucking hate my terms, like, why, why do they exist, like, who invented them, like, they don't need to exist, <laughs> I really don't want them to exist, like, what's wrong with just, <sighs> I'm honestly would prefer a pop quiz to a midterm. Actually, that's not true. Midterms are actually way better than pop quizzes because pop quizzes are fucking out of nowhere, you know? And like, you're not fucking prepared. Midterms, you can get prepared. It's just that it's a lot to prepare for. But like, honestly, prefer them to pop quizzes because pop quizzes, you're not prepared at all. But same time like midterms are so much work like, mm, yeah 
Also, I really need to take a shower. My my scalp is really like greasy because I haven't taken a shower like all week because like you know I've been kind of busy freaking the fuck out like <laughs> so fun um so yeah well I guess there's two good things that happened today I I have my appetite back which I don't know why but like it's back so that's good, I guess. Um, well, I mean, it's kind of back. Like, it's really weird. Like, this morning, like, I couldn't eat. But then at lunchtime, I was, like, really starving. So, like, I ate, like, a lot of food. So, like, that's good. But, like, also, like, weird. I don't know. Like, I'm starting to get it back, but, like, it's not all the way there yet. I don't know why it's coming back to me. Or why I was even gone in the first place. Because I talked to my psychiatrist. Like my therapist about it. And she said that I should talk to my actual doctor. Because it sounded like an actual medical condition. But obviously it's not. If it's going away. You know. like Or maybe it was and I just like wrote it out. Like you know. Like it's weird. I don't get it. Um. So that's good. I have my appetite back. And I also. Because my compare and contrast essay. For English and my makeup um, chapter test slash midterm for what's it called social psych is on Tuesday I have a lot of time to make up I mean study so that's good um, yeah but like I'm exhausted so tired like my I mean the my um, history midterm was like 50 questions half of them I didn't understand well actually no less than half of them I didn't understand but like I'd say a good like quarter maybe less I didn't get or I guessed on which is not right like I should have studied more I mean I did study I just didn't study enough like I didn't even finish my study guide for fuck's sake. I literally, like, was too lazy to write in my study guide. So I literally, like, looked at the questions of my study guide and then, like, looked through my book and just kind of, like, read over the things that I knew that he put on the study guide. But I didn't write it down because I was too lazy. Like, that's, like, that's the extent of my studying, like, which I did twice. I did it once last night and then I did it once this morning when I woke up early to study. But it obviously wasn't enough because I probably should have been studying all week or something. Like a normal fucking person instead of procrastinating like an idiot and not have gotten 68%. Like a fucking dumbass. Duh. And then... My English exam was like 108 questions. Girl, 108 questions. I was dying. I was dying. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love my English teacher and I love that class. But like, 108 fucking questions. Like, Jesus. I'm gonna die. <laughs> so tired by the end of today i was like oh my god i'm gonna die like it's fine we're fine like it's just oh, i'm so tired and then i was trying to nap after i finished my um after i finished my midterm for english i was trying to nap but like there are so many fucking annoying ass children in my class that like would not fucking shut up like, they kept making, like, these, like, weird noises and thought they were being cute. Like, or that they, 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 they thought they were being funny because they were, like, communicating. Vaguely communicating. Or, like, laughing by making weird noises at each other. Like, what are you, fucking from the animal kingdom? No, sweetie, you're a fucking human being. Grow the fuck up. Like, I'm trying to nap here because I'm tired, okay? Would you fucking let me sleep before I, like, impale your ass with my pencil? Like, I'm not even fucking kidding. Like, 
oh my god i was so annoyed and i couldn't sleep so i was just kind of like sitting there like angry like i was like fuck me i'm so pissed off right now like i want to nap and these people are fucking loud like the fuck and then like i couldn't even find my earphones and i was like shit man like i'm gonna have to suffer through this and i had to suffer through that for like 50 fucking minutes 50 minutes like are you fucking kidding me like i had to sit there 10 minutes short of an hour just listening to them and their fucking weird ass noises like are you fucking kidding me like i was in torture pure torture and i wanted to go to the bathroom well not because i wanted like not because i had to relieve myself like that sounds like weird like i'm 80 fucking years old but like i really just needed a break but like so many people like kept going to the bathroom because they apparently didn't want to be sitting either and so like i didn't want to wait in line so like i just kind of sat there and endured but like i was like boy i want to literally die like can i escape this somehow like please it was so annoying like oh my god i was like oh my god i was ready i was mm, i was ready to fucking ask her to let me leave early because like i was so done i was like i'm done like i literally finished the test like i am tired let me let me let me go <sighs> i wanted freedom <laughs> uh, but i didn't though because i knew she'd probably say no so you know i just had to sit there for 50 fucking minutes and endure their weird noises and like fucking like uh, I wanted to die. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Aside from that, today was okay. Like, I... It was okay. But, like, there's this, like, weird short break in between your first midterm and your second midterm. And I was like, okay, fun. And then I was originally planning to study during that time. But, like, my brain was really tired from, like, history. So I was like, you know, I'm going to take a break. And I just, like, laid down in the grass and was, like, reading and, like, getting all comfortable. And then my sort of ex slash not really ex popped up and was like, hi. And I was like, fuck. Like, damn it. I was just trying to get a break. And then this boy comes in here and I'm like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> like, he's, mm, he and I have a complicated relationship. He's, ah. Uh, I think I've talked about it before, actually. But for the longest time, like, we had, like, a pretty good, like, acquaintance, borderline friendship going on. And he was, like, kind of chill to talk to and have, like, fun with. And then, like, last year, like, my second semester of sophomore year, like, he all of a sudden, like, started, like, flirting with me. And at first, I didn't notice. Like, for months, I didn't notice. Like, I was kind of, like, oblivious. And so my friends literally, like, straight up fucking told me, like, a boy he has a crush on you so hard and you are fucking blind. And I was like, what? There's no fucking way he's a crush on me. Like, that's just weird. Like, we're friends. And then, like, two weeks later, he was, like, flirting with me. And I started, like, harder. Like, he was flirting with me, like, more and, like, intensely. Like, like to the point where he was, like, making moves. Like, you know, like, touching me. And I was like, okay, this is not friendship this is more and i was like fuck me dude this is uncomfortable and like <laughs> um yeah it was just really uncomfortable but then i was like but i feel bad because he's a really good nice guy like because he is a really nice guy but also not interested <laughs> like i'm practically gay like we're just gonna leave it at that like i'm i okay i'm pansexual right but like i really like am very attracted to boobs i'm just saying like we're just gonna go there okay like there ugh, like okay like really just mm. and like i just am not like it I mean, I fall in love with personality first, but, like, also physical attraction, like, helps. And a lot of people that I'm physically attracted to happen to be women. So, you know, like, I'm, I'm not against being with a male or, like, anyone because I'm pansexual. But, like, also, 
primarily attracted women. So, like, he didn't even know my sexuality at the time and, like, had no idea and was just flirting with me because he thought I was cute, which also was, like, really weird for me because, like, um, the tense, intense self-hatred over here. And he's, like, over there thinking that he likes me. And I was like, huh, you have no fucking clue what you're getting into, buddy. Like, I have so many issues you don't even know. Also, you're not ready for me. <laughs> so, you know, no. And... But then, selfish me was like, hey, what about, like, he kind of is ready, and, like, he's kind of cute if you, like, take out of the situation that, like, you don't really like men that much. And he's, like, you get along with him, obviously, because you guys are friends. So, like, what if, like, you guys, like, got together, like, purely physical relationship, and, like, it was, like, experience-based only, and then I was, like, hey, it doesn't sound like a bad idea, but, um, the minute, like, I started, like, getting, like, more, like, I started, like, I don't know, like, instead of, like, ignoring or, like, brushing him off, like, I started, like, accepting his, like, intentions with me, and, like, we started talking about it more, like, I was just, like, I feel horrible because this kid, like, it became very apparent that this kid really was only after me because I somewhat resembled his ex-girlfriend, who he was, is probably still very much attached to, and who is also, might I just say, a huge fucking bitch. Like, I don't care what fucking way you swing it, like, she's just a bitch. Like, she was really bullied in middle school, but, like, that doesn't excuse the fact that she's a bitch. I've been bullied pretty much my whole life, and I've been abused pretty much my whole life. Did I turn out as a bitch? Don't answer that question. <laughs> Wait. No. <laughs> Maybe I'm not a good example. But, like, at least I don't hurt other people intentionally. And she does. Like, she literally enjoys it. <sighs> this girl. I don't. Like, I don't even understand how he's attracted to her, how he's still in love with her, or whatever. Like, or what he thinks is love, which is not even love. It's, like, you can't even fall in love at our age. Like, literally, I don't, like, we're not mentally capable of it. Like, it's literally just attachment. And, like, a lot of times, like, teenagers think they're in love when they're, like, afraid of being alone. And, like, they want somebody to understand them because they don't like their parents and, like... Or they don't get along and they feel like they're outsiders because they're trying to discover themselves and they think they will find someone who will accept them even if, even if they don't know themselves. Sweetie, that's not fucking possible, okay? Like, you need to discover yourself before you can seek out others, okay? Nobody's gonna accept you if you don't fucking know who you are. Like, Jesus Christ, okay? So, like, this boy was interested in me because I look somewhat like his ex-girlfriend and, um... Like, he also didn't want to be alone, and we also got along together, so, like, I think that's, like, a lot of the reason why he was, like, hitting on me. And so, like, and then I, like, actually, like, thought about it, because, like, I was thinking, like, from a very, like, dispassionate perspective of using him for, like, sexual like experience, which is not, not great, you know, like, probably, like, never not okay especially if it's not consensual because like he was like not after me for love and he was using me for like as a replacement for his girlfriend but like I, I also felt like he kind of like could care for me and I knew for a fact that I would never care for him in the way that he could probably learn to care for me so like that's when I realized like this is wrong like what I was like starting the beginning steps of getting into was wrong and I was like okay, we're going to take a step back and not do this. And so, um, he, like, I never really talked to him <laughs> after the end of, um, sophomore year. And then, like, all of a sudden, midterm day, like, while I'm trying to relax in between two torture sessions, he, like, pops up over me and is like, hey, and I'm like, uh. So we had, like, a somewhat decent conversation, um, but, like, there was still a lot of tension and awkwardness, you know, like, very prominent, and you could tell he was, like, kind of curious, not upset, but, like, kind of curious as to, like, why I kind of, like, just jumped, like, off the fucking grid and, like, didn't talk to him since, like, haven't talked to him for, like, literally, like, 
four months now because like didn't talk to him at all over the summer and it's been two months into school now so four months about so yeah he's now the only he's not pissed about it because he's actually a lot like me which i think is why we get along we're both pretty quiet and we're both pretty like calm like we never really get that upset and so like he like wasn't upset about it but like he also was kind of like curious and like not hurt but like kind of like you could tell he's kind of like offended and curious at the same time as to like why i just kind of like jumped off the fucking bridge and i felt bad but like i didn't want to tell him because like that's kind of rude to be like hey i was never really interested in you i just wanted to use you <laughs> um yeah no no fucking way thanks so yeah i didn't really say anything and he didn't really say anything about it either so like yeah it was really awkward uh there's a lot to happen in one day you know like <laughs> Yeah. God, I'm so glad my actual ex-boyfriend from, like, freshman year is gone. Because, like, I don't think I could handle seeing him at all either. Because, like, hello. He was fucking weird. I'm just saying. Like, ugh. I don't think I've ever talked about him before. But, like, he was fucking weird. Like, I don't... Uh, I don't even understand how I got to dating him. And it only lasted for, like, two weeks. And then he tried to, like, get in my pants by telling me he loved me. And I was like, fuck no. I think I was still questioning my sexuality at that point. But like, I think I thought I was, like, straight, borderline bi, completely ignoring the fact that, like, all of my crushes in the past have been girls, and I've made out with girls more than I've ever kissed a guy before. So, like, you know, just ignoring that fact and being like, hey, I'm bi, borderline straight. Pfft, fuck me in the asshole and, like, call me Jesus, because that is not true. Like, <laughs> no. Um... Talk me in that soul and call me Jesus. What, what is the fuck? What the fuck did that come from? Oh my god, that reminds me of this like music video that I saw like in middle school that made me laugh so much. Is um, it's called "Fuck Me in the Ass" because I love Jesus, and it's basically about these two virgin girls, who, like have these boyfriends, and their boyfriends like really want them to have sex, and they're like, "I can't, we're good Christian girls," and then they were like, "Wait a second. and then it was like, "Fuck me in the ass" because I love Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the most hilarious music video I've ever seen in my life. And like... <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> but, um... Oh my god, I have to rewatch that video. It's so fucking funny. But like, it's also so bad. Like... <laughs> um... I don't even really think that many people know about it, but, like, it's in a fucking amazing music video, like, <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's, that was my day today. it was very eventful and stressful, and, like, the fuck, I wanna go home, please, and I am home, but I'm still stressing over it, and I'm just, like, put it in the fucking past, sweetie, like, literally happened, like, oh, it's already 3 p.m.? Jesus. I've been worrying about this a lot longer than I thought I was. Okay, well, you know. It's fine. Oof, I'm tired. I want to take a nap, but, like, I also don't want to, like, sleep through my alarm. Because I slept through my alarm last night because, like, um, for, like, taking my pill. And I need to keep track of it because, like, I need to take it once a day for two weeks from starting yesterday and then after two weeks are up take two pills like for two weeks and then after those two weeks are up take three pills every, like for two weeks and then by then my medicine should be out and I need to call the pharmacy and be like hey give me some more pills please like uh, yeah so yeah I'm tired i'm so tired also i realized if you like look at my face from a certain angle i look like a sloth like sid from ice age like i look like sid maybe it's just because i'm really tired i don't know but like i think i look like sid <laughs> um yeah, I don't really have anything else to add, and also, like, this video ends in 30 minutes, and it's 24 minutes now, so, like, you know, I'm pretty much done anyways, so, you know, goodbye. <laughs>
<laughs> I feel like my throat is all like gross because I've been talking too long. Mm. <laughs> I look high. I'm just tired, I swear. Okay, bye.